So I initially shot this video on manifesting, which was really my BS life experiment to see if there was actually something to it or if it was a bunch of hippie, new age, crunchy granola garbage. And since then, I learned that, you know, like most things, there's some merit and there's a lot of BS. But in this video, I thought I would share this new quest I'm embarking on really for an entire year where I'm gonna flip my life upside down and I'm gonna document everything. What's up you guys, Alex Hine. Now I've actually included a journaling worksheet below this video that can help you if you're trying to redesign your life and reinvent yourself in a specific direction that's more of what you want. Get your life together. All right, you can check it out, the first link right below this video. So I was having this conversation that really inspired this video and this year long quest that I'm going on. It was a live hangout with the students in my reinvent your life program and where each month we go through this varying phase of life and somebody asked me you know alex what made the biggest difference regarding reaching your goals in the last six or seven years of really being on my own self-growth journey and i took an entire day off and i actually wanted to figure out for me what really did make the difference and so i wrote down on this piece of paper i wrote down what were the goals that i had achieved and I focused on my career because that was the hardest part of my life to do well in. So I wrote down, what about my career goals, my work goals, was the most unusual? All right, so I wrote down like, I did a doctorate, I worked 20 hours a week, the whole doctorate, built a six-figure business, I wrote two books, you know, before the age of whatever, 30, 32, made six figures over 100,000 US in royalties from those books, self-published built this audience to 350,000 subscribers, uh, and a few other things, a few other experiences, but things that are not you know, necessarily that ordinary. And I sat down and I wanted to figure out what practices did I do that actually worked? Now, I had about seven to 10 practices I did daily. I did goal setting, I did action taking, i.e. actual habits, I did manifesting, affirmations, visualizations, I did hiring coaches, going to seminars, workshops. So of these seven or 10 things I did the most frequently to reach my goals, what was the only thing I was willing to bet my life at gunpoint actually worked? And there was actually only one thing, amazingly. And it was the projects that I worked on that I was strongly intuitively drawn to via a gut excitement or drive or love to do it. Those were the ones that worked out. So let's talk about what I'm actually planning to do. I started using these little journals, these little moleskins, so that I could actually track my hunches, my gut instincts about a certain goal or about a certain thing. And then I could test, well, if I do that thing, is it really more likely to work out than something that I'm just forcing and pushing? But the problem is, you know, let's say your gut says you should write this book about your experience being whatever, having cancer at a young age, losing your parents, whatever it is. And then your mind comes in and your mind says, who are you to write this book? Your mom said that's stupid. Your friends are like, who are you going to be a writer? You got like a B minus in English class. You know, all this mind BS comes up, all the fears usually. And so how do you disable the fears while also try to reach your full potential? The question for me was what would happen if as close to 100% of my day, I did exactly what I wanted to do all the time, seven days a week. If I don't want to work that day, I'm not going to work. And because I'm self-employed, I can choose to do that. If I want to sit in my bedroom like a cave for the next three years until I'm all gray and look like Gollum, then I'm going to do that if that's what really <laughs> pulls me. So what if I just did exactly what I want to do for a year, every minute? If I don't want to work at all, I won't work at all. And as you can see, a lot of these fears come up. Is my business going to fail? Is nobody going to keep watching my videos because they all suck and I haven't done any in the last six months? Like, what will really happen to my life? And I'm willing to see what happens because so far, that's been the best compass for awesome things happening in my life. So I'm embarking on this yearly quest or one year quest to see what happens if I go all in 100% on making every decision from my gut every single day which means fearless faith in finances, that things are gonna work out financially, my whole, everything I've worked for won't come crumbling down, and really fearless faith in love, that I don't have to go chasing or running after friends or trying to find my next relationship, but that if I'm doing the things that excite me, those things will happen. 
So I'm going to document it and hopefully at least monthly share with you guys what's been unfolding and how things are working out. All right. And of course, documenting it all daily here and I'll share this with you after. So if you guys want a good way to get started doing this practice is definitely that free journaling worksheet below the video. I use that exact kind of strategy exercise for really designing the exact life that I've wanted. So you can check it out right below this video. And then before you go, I have two related videos there. 